Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spinning Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And thank you guys for being patient with me as I'm, you know, finishing up that TV pilot I was writing. As you can see, I'm moving. I'm like breaking everything down behind me. Uh, it's depressing. I hate seeing like a blank background uh, in my videos because uh, I used to do that at one point. Um, and then also, I, I managed to squeeze in the Venom bottles, but I just haven't t t transferred everything over yet. And uh, and I haven't figured out what my new setup's going to be at the new place. And I haven't got Wi-Fi set up over there, so I'm going to try to record as many videos as I can today, which is Wednesday. It's my day off. And I'm going to try to record enough things for you guys that I have stuff to post for the next few days uh, while I'm, you know, getting the last of my stuff over to the new place. I have until Monday, October 1st to get everything over there. And uh, and I'm just trying to do that and balance my real life and my job and everything else at the same time. So, again, I appreciate you guys being patient with me. Uh, today, we are not going to talk about the, the new clips and all the new information that's come out there. We're going to cover all that in the next episode. Uh, so I know some of you guys want to talk about that stuff. We'll cover it over there. I probably won't do too much spoilers. I won't go into too much detail about some of the things that have been released out there. I have seen some of them. Some of them I've avoided. Uh, so we'll you know talk about that in the next episode, and I'll put a little spoiler warning up there if we get into spoilers. But I'm not planning on talking about anything spoilery. Uh, so we'll talk about all that in the next episode. For this one, though, I want to talk about something that has been, uh, you know, people have been asking me about, which is the screening. Uh, some of you have been asking me if you should be, if we should be, as fans, worried that the Venom screening is scheduled for October 3rd, you know, 24 hours before the midnight releases on October 4th here in the U.S. And I'm going to tell you right now not to be worried about that. I know there are YouTubers and people out there in the press that are like saying, hey, yeah, I got invited to the screening the day before the movie comes out. Um, you know, should I be worried or be worried? You know, this is a sign that Sony doesn't believe in this movie or whatever. And uh, those YouTubers, uh, I guess my message to them would be that um, it turns out you're just not high on the priority of Sony's list of press, and they probably just don't find you that influential. Um, or, uh, or maybe you've made videos in the past that have dogged this movie, and so they're just like, eh, we'll invite them to a screening, but it'll be the fan screening, because that's mostly what this is. It's a fan screening. Um, I have been invited to it, too. Uh, I would ex kind of expect that a little bit, considering how far low I am on the totem pole. I actually didn't expect to be invited at all, uh, but I did actually have an opportunity to see it before, because there have been other screenings of this movie. As you saw, Moscow had a screening uh, not too long ago. We just talked about it in a recent video. Uh, someone, there's a, a reporter, a guy, who works uh, for a YouTube channel in British Columbia in Vancouver and he saw the movie recently like I think a week or two ago and his embargo uh, the embargo lifts for the reviews on October 2nd so some people out there that were like oh my god they're doing a screening the day before they're doing a screening the day before in some areas uh, it is what happens with most movies um, it happens with a, a lot more movies than you think it does. You just probably don't pay attention because maybe most of them aren't comic book movies. Uh, but it happens a lot where they do a screening a day or two before and they try to get fans in there. And this way they can use that as social media push for the movie to try to help drive you know ticket sales for the opening weekend. Maybe people who are on the fence who might not have gone to pay it you know pay for a ticket, they're going to get a lot of them in. Yes, there will be press there. Some of those press will be there because they missed out or couldn't attend the first screening. And then other press that might be there or YouTubers are there uh, because they got the invite because, uh, again, Sony might not find them to be very influential. Uh, and so they're just low on the list. Or, you know, or maybe they bug them on Twitter. Like, hey, I want to go to a screening. I want to go to a screening. I have this many followers. And Sony's like, eh, okay, you can go to this fan screening and we'll reserve you a spot or whatever. Um, so that's pretty much what that is. Uh, you know, I, I like I said, I got invited to that one. It's happening October 3rd. Uh, but uh, but I am not gonna, I'm probably not going to go. I have to work that night anyway, so it doesn't really matter um but i already have my tickets for october uh, 4th at midnight and then i'm going to see it again on october 5th after i visit my doctor so i'm trying to stay on the same level with you guys you know i had chances to see this movie and uh, or ver earlier cuts and i've seen earlier cuts of a lot of movies and what happens is they prevent sometimes because you have to sign forms they prevent you from talking about stuff so i've never been able to really make x-men videos on the upcoming x-men movies because of those reasons for very similar reasons of stuff i've signed and so for that purpose uh, i've never been able to dive fully into the x-men universe which is something i really wanted to do on this channel and i had to back away from that because i was too afraid of what i could say or what i might accidentally say and i thought myself in that same situation with venom and made a conscious effort to not see it early um so i haven't and uh, you know when i had the chance and i won't go to the october 3rd one uh, i will risk you know being spoiled stuff i'm sure people will write me and troll me and spoil stuff for me i don't really care it's not going to bother me that much because either way i'm still excited for the movie and i am getting that excitement from you guys 
right? So seeing a lot of you out there just getting really hyped and amped up for this. Uh, so that has rubbed off on me, and now I am went from intrigued and interested in this movie to actually excited for it. And I thank you guys for that. Uh, so I would not be worried about this October 3rd screening. It's not that big of a deal. Like I said, it's going to be mostly be a fan screening anyway. They uh, Sony wants fans, like they're going to squeeze a couple hundred of them into this, uh, this screening uh, in different cities. And what they want them to do is go out and on social media talk about the movie because that is the day after the embargo lifts. So anything people put out there is fair game. And if it's positive, which they, you know, hopefully they want it to, they want it to be positive, but hopefully it will be positive. That'll just help enforce those uh, those reviews that are going to go up on Tuesday, October 2nd. So yes, there is an embargo for this movie. Reviewers who have already seen it, who are higher up on the totem pole, uh, or at least influential in their respected areas, they've already seen the movie and they're going to release their reviews on October 2nd. If anyone else out there, YouTube or anyone else, says, oh, I got a, I got a screening, and uh, isn't that awful? I'm going to go the day before it comes out. This is probably going to suck. If they're already going with that mentality, they're probably already going to hate the movie no matter if it's good or not, or if they really deep down like it or not. Uh, they're probably not going to be turned around. But the fact that they're crapping on it because the screening is a day before, they either don't get invited to a ton of screenings or they don't realize they're in be, you know they're being invited to the mostly fan screening and the most uh, mostly social media push screening uh, and not the actual like movie critic screening uh, because those already happened so again, don't worry about it. Uh, it's going to be fine. And who cares anyway what the critics say, what the Rotten Tomato score is. If you are interested in this movie, if you're a Venom fan, go see it. Go judge it for yourself. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, their opinions aren't going to matter to me. Uh, it'll be nice to see positive opinions, but you know, it's not going to make me be that much more excited or anything. It's just going to be like, all right, cool, that person liked it, uh, but uh, and that person didn't like it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so don't base everything off of that. I know the masses will. Us as fans, that stuff shouldn't bother us. People's opinions, it, you know, you can factor it into your own opinion after you see the movie and make up your own mind and be like, oh, I do agree with that person on this criticism or that criticism. Uh, but really, that screening, that, that information, that the social media push for it is not to, it's not meant to affect us. They know they're probably going to have our money anyway. It's meant to affect those people out there that are curious what to do with their weekend and they see on social media, oh, Venom was good. Someone said Venom was good. Oh, a friend of mine saw a screening and they said it was awesome. Or, oh, this reviewer said it. It's, uh, it and uh, or saw it and said it was awesome too so it's it's for that purpose it's to get those masses out there to go see it uh, obviously they're not trying to affect us they know what uh you know if we're going to see it or not based off our fandom so don't let it influence you uh you know don't let it bum you out if they're negative uh and don't let it overhype you if it's positive just you know keep in mind everyone has their own opinion and that you should make up your own and go see the movie for yourself if you want to uh, but don't worry about these screenings uh, this one on October 3rd is not that important uh, so don't worry about it so also uh, you know like I said in the next video we're gonna talk about clips we're gonna talk about other promotional things the Venom movies doing so we'll do all that over there for this one I'm just gonna end on that note uh, don't be afraid <laughs> it's gonna be fine and either way there's a lot of new stuff out there to get you excited for the movie as far as actual footage from the movie things that you can um, you make your own opinion on and and, uh, and formulate your own thoughts on as opposed to hearing what other people's thoughts are. You can just see raw clips of the movie now and you can judge for yourself if it's something you want to go see. So go do that and we'll talk about that in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.